Pop squat. Come <laughs> at you just as soon as I breathed in when I started, I coughed. Uh, <clears throat> this is a song recommended to us by one of my lovely, lovely, very high quality, high class, incredibly sophisticated patrons. Uh, and um, I did uh, named Snot. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is a song that he recommended from Young Lean called Kyoto from 2013. Um, I have lyrics over on this here page here. Uh, there's still a day or so left that you can get entered to win something that I'm going to get delivered via Amazon to somebody in the U.S. Sorry to everybody in the rest of the world. If you enter, uh, go into the description here, not the comments, go into the description here and find a link to the video to Girls Just Want to Have Fun and you want to leave the number 10,000 in numbers, not spelled out numbers. Uh, you'll see other people commented there. And you will be automatically entered to win something and... When I find out who the winner is on Wednesday, I think it is, the date is down below, um, I will try and contact them and uh, get something sent out soon thereafter. Um, let's dive into Kyoto from Young Lean. Again, this is from 2013, and I've got the lyrics set up. Four minutes, 41 seconds. Holy cow, this must be from before the age of the incredibly short song. Uh, let's see how it is. Very alienish. That's cool. Just feels like the start to a movie. So that's really interesting. Uh, and I'm going to back up. I know it's almost a full minute that we're into this song, but there's a whole first verse here that you all, well, for some of it, you really can't hear it. You certainly can't make out the words. And then it gets a little more distinct and more distinct and more distinct. And it's almost like, I, I don't even know exactly, I'm trying to figure out the intention behind it, because you can't really hear the words, and yet it acts as an introduction to the song, and, and uh, the lyrics, um, it, I'm not too concerned, I'm not going to read them all to you, but I'm trying to figure out, like, why is that? Because usually if you would have something like a preamble or, or something to a song, you would want it to be understood, right? Like, um, kind of like the beginning of Star Wars, right? Where the words come through the screen and you can see them, and it sets up the rest of the song. But this sets up the song in a different way? Maybe this is just supposed to kind of make it feel like you're entering this song or this conversation entering the lyrics themselves as they're already in progress um i i don't know uh, i'm just trying to figure out like why have this sort of beginning to a song and it takes almost a minute to get to the very clear version of the words that you can actually hear And is all this that we just heard, is this actually part of the song for people who have heard the song without the video? Because I know sometimes they add some stuff to videos that isn't actually part of the song. So if anybody knows that for sure, just let me know. I'm a 
going with here on his his performance um it's it's not slow and yet it's not like a fast rap sort of thing He's, there's a ton of lyrics going in here and uh they're all pretty understandable pretty straightforward and it's sort of an i'm awesome song but sort of like um almost like a i'm he says he's gonna get locked up but he's been locked up in his mind and now he's let himself out right he's he's creating stuff he's putting stuff out there into the world and uh it's it's interesting because it's almost like hey you know i'm i'm awesome but really i just i couldn't be held back there was that i'm an element right like i'm i'm a force in nature basically and that's kind of a cool idea to put into a song that normally I'm Awesome songs are just like, hey, I'm awesome, I'm gonna fuck all the bitches, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, and that's not really what this is saying. This is saying, it's like, this is unavoidable. Like, I was just always gonna be this good. And it's a really cool sound. It's a little, um, I think it's an interesting choice to have his voice be a little bit muffled. So even though he is definitely the focus of this song, um, the lyrics aren't front and center. They're kind of at a midway point in the song in terms of like what you hear, and uh, the and the music sounds great. So it all like works together to create this really kind of subdued but forceful message, which is a really cool combination. We get it, get it. I'm getting rich All this love I'm melting it Don't let me down on my map board If you ask me I come for it I take you back to the rainforest My heart is so Yeah, you tore it I don't want to be here My life's more of it There's more of it Let's say it Yo, why? Say it Go with it Tatted on my chest With it tattered on my chest See me, see me on the bus Blowing sash, nothing less We the best, fuck the rest Water ran my lungs for the quest I won't hit that pipe Fire and water die Two time, two time Make me stay stuck as a night for a night See, 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 that's my vibe Nike, Nike on my shirt Bubbles, bubbles, blowing bubbles But I guess I never buy Empire on my state of mind I'ma do me, I'ma make a mind I say fuck the shot, I say fuck the shot Bitch, I grind, bitch, I grind, I'm hard to find
song. I like that a lot. So is Sad Boys um, uh, a group of these artists, like the ones that he was showing in the beginning here, and uh, are they all featured on this song, or were they just there with him, or on tour, or something? Like, the, the page I'm looking at doesn't give me any information about the song itself, other than the lyrics. And, uh, Man, that sounds cool. And like I said, it really is sort of um, sort of an I'm Awesome song, and there was no way I wasn't ever going to be awesome. I it just that was just the fact. Like I was uh, maybe held back before. You know, I was I was trapped in my head, and now I'm I'm getting up. Really a cool sounding song though. I, I'm not 100% on the meaning. It probably doesn't matter all that much other than it feels kind of like a sort of empowering song. Like you listen to it and it, it doesn't like get you pumped up like you want to, you know, listen to this necessarily at the gym when you're actually, you know, pumping iron or whatever. But it definitely is, uh, kind of gets going. Like, it sounds cool, and it sounds like it's got some power behind it, and you really can kind of dig into it and feel like, yeah, yeah, and it's cool. I like it. Young Lean. Yeah, I should check out more by him. You guys have been saying that for a while, so, uh, I'm glad, uh, we got this recommendation from, uh, who did I say? Snot, I think it is. I <laughs> love that name. Uh, la, 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 where did I put it? Yes, it was. Uh, and he's got some more recommendations. A couple of them were albums, so I didn't do those because I just don't have the time today. But uh, they are on the list. I'm also going to be putting together a spreadsheet <laughs> for all these recommendations so I can keep track of everything. And, uh, oh, it's going to be so much fun. Papa Squat. <laughs> Chicken now. Please like, subscribe, and share. That's it for now. I'm going to do some more videos properly. Bye.